Uh, so welcome to the Actors Perspective uh, discussion of God of Carnage uh, by Yasmin Reza. And so just to start off, I want to know, uh, what are everybody's initial thoughts on the play? I know for me, like, it's a little bit weird. It's a little crazy to see these four people evolve into, uh, or I guess de-evolve is probably a better word to put it, into uh, Neanderthals, as Michael likes to say. And just kind of you all thoughts on it as after we've gone through it. I love this uh, play. I I love love love. Um, they did a they did the movie that I think was only called Carnage, and I loved the movie. I loved rereading this. Um, I think it's. Uh, it explains humans well. Uh, you try to put up a perception of yourself, and then when you're feeling attacked or feeling a few jabs, you start to like, you know, shed your skin a little bit. And alcohol always helps that. So uh, I don't know. I, I love this play. Uh, Amanda, I thought it was really interesting to see the way that the play progresses because right from the beginning it seems like Alan is gonna leave. And then he, they end up staying and staying. And it's funny how anytime a situation seemed like it was getting escalated or uncomfortable, they would like kind of be like, well, just leave and throw a bag or leave and go. And it, every time it was uncomfortable, but anytime it was like slightly pleasant, like they were winning their side of the argument. He's like, oh, rum? Yeah, I guess I could have a little rum. Yeah, now I, now I have time for a cigar because somebody was on his team against his wife. <laughs> like, he's like, yeah, no, we're gonna stay now. This is what we're staying for. I thought that was funny. And I also um, really appreciate that because it kept seeming like the characters could leave at any point, uh, that we, we never saw the kids, but it felt like at any point they were gonna cut to that 7.30 meeting between the two boys with the parents <laughs> there or not there and then the kids were just going to beat the crap out of each other again like that's what it kept feeling like it was going to lead to and then never did mm. Which I thought yeah was uh yeah to piggyback off of what amanda said i mean that's a great way to i love this play as well and i love it because of you're always guess you're always seeing like who's on whose side at what time and those change rapidly like literally in between a line like oh we're on team this now nope nope now we're on this team now we're on this team we're on this team and that is so fun to see and I think to talk about like why no one ever leaves and I think it's a really interesting point about humans is that they're like trying to leave it's like we are gonna go we are going and another thing and then you start <laughs> off a whole other argument and that's because we as humans not all humans but like a lot of us want to get our points proven and across and we want to be proven right and we want to show people this is why i'm right and i'm not leaving until you understand that it's right and then it just divulges into more chaos carnage all of it it is so exciting to see and i guess a great thing about this is that they they're talking about the children and being their children being wild and terrorism they are divulging into children themselves and becoming what they say these children are so There's i just about that right in the beginning as well kind yeah of a moment yeah. Of oh yeah it's all they're just divulging into children and their truest impulses like it's fun to see when one person is on their impulse and the other then the other and then the other and then just the downfall and or uprising of everything because they're their true selves uh she i saw your hand up Actually, Tyler kind of touched on it. I just loved how they were all just being these like pretentious, you know, we're wealthy and we're being polite and we're, you know, just we have to do what's proper and do our parental responsibilities. But then they like you see the devolving of them into being children, like Tyler said, or being savages. Like they're calling their kids savages, but they're over here throwing pocketbooks and, you know, throwing up all over the place and like <laughs> literally 
just being wild, like Tyler yeah. just said. So I found it really interesting to see that devolving, you know, that like just unraveling of all this pretentiousness and then just being literally the things that they're calling their own kids, the it, pure savages. I just thought it was really interesting to see line by line happening. Awesome. Uh, Josue and Amanda? Um. I think most most of what I was gonna say, Tyler said with a lot more energy. So you know, I can pass it on. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, so sorry. That case, that's okay. Um, but in that case, let's jump off to the next question here. Uh, and Amanda, wait, and Amanda, both Amanda, both Amandas. Yes, Amanda M, and then Amanda A. <laughs> I want to say too, in terms of relationships, it's interesting how they team up and the teams change on who they're pointing the finger at. But also, as humans, we want to protect our human. So at yeah. any given point, they're like, well, hold on. Now you crossed the line there. Yeah. We, we were all, <laughs> but now that's, well, who made you say that? Who let you say that? That's rude. That's my man. You can't do that. Like, it, at a flip of a switch, it's like, now I was agreeing with you, but now I'm on the other side again. It's now like, I have to defend. Which is such a human <laughs> uh, carnal instinct, I think, too, to d defend our cubs, defend mm -hmm. our people. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought one thing that stood out to me as funny was how Veronica was the most adamantly outspoken against the violence and then she was the one being violent. Um, yeah. And I'm sure yeah. there were other parallels like that that I can't think of right now. Um, yeah, anyway. Oh, it's all good. Um, so we've touched on a little bit of the relationships. Um, that actually does lead into the next one is like, how do the relationships between the four change? And where do you see some of those changes? Like, uh, I mean, obviously, they're all throughout the play. But one of the ones if you can find specific examples, um, one of the ones that I think that jumps into my head is right at the beginning when Alan and Michael team up on the idea of Spartacus and leading their own gangs as children, all of a sudden, you mm the two sides of you know the male idea of fighting against the the female idea of maybe being a little bit more nurturing uh Josue. yeah i think one thing that was really interesting is that they i i thought this was gonna happen um like because of how often they change sides that eventually like the 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 men would start kind of insulting the other person's wife and there would be kind of an altercation based on that. And surprisingly, there really wasn't. Like as they got drunker, I believe um, Alan, the lawyer, uh, kept like insulting Veronica. And I thought Michael would be like, all right, dude, or like they would start fist fighting, but they kind of let it happen and let it draw out for a while. Um, and I, it, it seemed like, the, the closer we got to the end of the play, the more the gender dynamics started to uh, really play a big role mm -hmm. in in the in the play. And it seemed like, I don't know if the playwright was trying to make this message known, but it seemed like that kind of thing um, kind of like trumped, trumped more of the traditional, like, uh, what am I trying to say? The, the, the created institutions like marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, I think a great example of when there's a team up is the wives who switch when she throws the phone into the mm -hmm. water. Um, Cause she just kind of snatches it and the, uh, then Veronica's like, yeah, that is terrible when he's on the phone all the time and it escalates from then there. <laughs> she had someone agree with her and that was the only green light she needed to then pounce and get the phone and ruin it. And then the husbands are like, oh my God, the cell phone and, and trying to fix yeah. it or whatever. Um, and the women are laughing and I thought that was very clever. And then at the very end, when you see, um, uh, sh uh, Annette. yeah, thank you. Annette goes back and destroys the tulips <laughs> as like one last vengeance. And then they, they oh, have her glasses and are like, are these yours? And you feel like they're just going to step on him. And then the phone rings. <laughs> so it's like, oh, <laughs> first. like but you like, feel like that's going to be the thing. And you're like, oh, yeah, are these your glasses? Crunch, like destroyed. 
<laughs> uh, Amanda A, I saw your hand up. What you guys are saying made me think about um, how much of the teaming up or siding with each other was about the person they were teaming up versus how much it was about uh, how angry or how much disagreement they had with their partner. And if it was almost, um, you know, at what point was it, 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 you know, it seesawed between like, yeah, I'm totally on, on this person's page or, oh my gosh, she's pissing my husband off. So, and he's pissing me off. So I'm with her, you know, so that kind of interesting dynamic. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, Tyler. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite, um, like team up moments or like, against moments is when um, Michael offers Alan a cigar and he's like, yeah, I'd love a cigar. And while they are teaming up about this, like cool cigars, the wives are like, yeah, no, like no smoking or don't accept the cigar. And then Alan just comes back. He's like, I will accept a cigar if I choose to. I'm not going to smoke it because she doesn't want me to. So there's like, there's weird balance between like, I can still do what I want, but be respectful. And I think mm -hmm. that's a really interesting team up where he, he has some kind of like dignity. I, no, I would, I would say, no, I would say, yeah, dignity. <laughs> and it's funny because with that, with that exact cigar moment, he's like, I could if I wanted to, but I won't out of respect. And then a little while later, something else happens and they're like, get the cigars! <laughs> so when they bring them back, they're like, I was gonna wait, but now I'm not. <laughs> yeah, the cigars are just funny to me. They're just really funny. <laughs> uh, Andre. The moment I love, I don't know if it's really like a, a team up is one, uh, and that is like throwing up everywhere. And everybody's like, okay, we gotta like take care of her. Is she okay? And as soon as they go to the bathroom or that couple's away, they're like, she's a phony. You see that? Like, and it brings like Michael and, and Veronica like back as a unit mm -hmm. after they leave the room. And I feel like everyone does that all the time. Woof, woof. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, but kind of jumping off of that into the next one, it is actually about when the, the husbands and wives do connect with each other and then when they are disconnected. And I think that's a great example of like, you see Veronica and Michael really on the same team, but only when they're insulting Alan and Annette <laughs> yeah. when they can be heard. And I think one that I really enjoy is um, when Alan and Annette are totally like, oh yeah, no, our son's a little dickhead and he deserves all of this. But the minute that uh, Michael and Veronica try to say something about him, they all of a sudden jump to his defense. It's like, like y'all kind of said earlier, that's when you all of a sudden have that dynamic of you're trying to attack my kid versus me attacking my kid. Like I can say it. You can't say that about him. We do that with siblings, right? Like I'll talk, mm. I'll talk shit about my sibling, but a moment someone else talks shit about your sibling you're ready to like fight like it's on you know what I mean? my siblings my friends my parents mm -hmm. all of it <laughs> yeah uh so are there any other specific moments in the play where you see that dynamic of like the wives of like the husband and wife team connecting versus not uh like not teaming up with the other husband yeah Amanda. well i think there's um an interesting dynamic when Annette is throwing up. Alan's like, I'm worried. And he's like, actually not maybe being a dick for once. Um, and I think there's another, which, which is interesting with the nickname in particular, because as a reader, when you're not seeing it performed, you, like, part of me thought he was calling her a dog mm -hmm. based on how they had been treating each other previously. So it's like, oh, get over it, woof, woof, like yeah, kind of a thing, true. rather than like, oh, get over it, woof, woof, yeah. are you okay, woof, woof, like a pet name, yeah. like I read it as an insult, so it's, it's, um, until it was established that that was the pet name they had for each other, and then I'm like, oh, you've been wrong the whole time, um, so I think that's like an interesting <laughs> team up moment that right. when reading it through the first time, I didn't pick up on right away <laughs> that they were mm. that was a sign of when they were on the same page was when they were using the pet names but yeah I, I love it especially because as soon as they leave the room you have michael and veronica being like did you hear when he calls her woof woof Ugh, such a terrible nickname 
And of course, this the I think the the thing that I love about this play is like the veneer of sincerity that they all kind of share. Like they're all so civilized. And then all of a sudden, as soon as one of them leaves the room, they take the opportunity to be like, uh, these people are terrible and they're phony. We hate all of them. Uh, Josue. Um, yeah, speaking of kind of like the performance, the performance aspect is I'd really love to see Michael uh, played just because he struck me like he got called out for it by his wife where he was kind of like playing both sides and just trying to be as amicable and, and accommodating as possible. And then turns out to be just like such an utter shit bag. Uh, and I, that, that to me, that that's really interesting because he does come off as like, not necessarily pleasant, like he doesn't have to be pleasant, but definitely like more of this weaker character who is just there to placate. Um, and then has this total character turn. She um, passed me off as a liberal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 very telling. <laughs> uh. Well, I think it's a great uh, character balance between him of this guy who was the leader of his gang and beat up this other 12 year old, but can't pick up a hamster. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that was all a lie. Like there's no way he beat up uh, B- Bobby Kopecky or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, and the whole the whole hamster is a great, if you follow the thread of the hamster story, they're like, that's disgusting and everyone's against him. And then at the very end, when the daughter calls, she's defending the she's dad defending and still feeding yeah. into the lie and is saying like, oh, like obviously the daughter's like, I'm never speaking to him ever again. And she's like, yes, you'll talk to him again. Like, you know, and, and like, siding with the husband in that parental unit as well. Like, even though she's ripped him apart for this hamster repeatedly, she's like, but we are a team. I know. Definitely. Uh, Shio, and then I think I saw Tyler as well. Sorry, I hit that by accident. (laughs) (laughs) That's okay. Uh, Tyler, go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I just, I don't know. I wanted to go back to the nicknames because I never really thought about it when you, I never thought of the nickname being like oh a demeaning thing and then when you said treating her like a dog I was like oh my god that sucks and I thought about like Darjeeling I was like wonder what that kind of if there's an inner meeting and I'm thinking like tea and I'm like oh it's, someone's sipping the tea right now someone's about to spill it off <laughs> I don't know I don't I feel like pet names pet names interesting I don't know I feel like the nicknames are something fascinating because Maybe it's because I don't like them. I don't know. I got really hung up on that in my brain. I felt like I had something to say. Never mind. Bye. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's a. I do think that's a fair point. Like when you see those nicknames about something like that, like the wolf wolf is something where it's like, how much is that doggy in the window? And you sit there and you go, well, I know that song. There's nothing. Yeah. It's nothing romantic about, nice about, about that. Really. It's nothing romantic. It's like he chose her. Like, ugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a song. Uh, Andre, go ahead. <laughs> you didn't know that was a song. <laughs> uh, actually, Grace had her hand up and I was like, me. Grace, yeah, go ahead. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just, uh, I, um, so I used to work at a preschool in the West Village for like very wealthy children. <laughs> and some of the parents were like celebrities. And so this feels like so familiar to me. But Maybe like, flashbacks. I think, Yes, I, I am. Because um, one time uh, when I was working, a little girl like fell and like slit her lip in the classroom. And I had to be interviewed like with recording, like from the principal, like what happened? What, like, where, where were you, where, where, why weren't you looking at her? And like, it was all coming from the parents. And it was like this extremely stressful situation. So um, yeah, I kind of can't get that out of my head just that experience also um I know Cobble Hill Park and I know Walt Whitman Park too so it's like interesting that because I walk my dog in those parks sometimes um so like it but but um what I was gonna say is this was originally written in France right or it's Mm -hmm. French and um it was about Paris so yeah because I always thought like that was a very American thing for like uh, these like upper middle class like upper class parents to be like oh well my son you know but maybe it's not just American maybe like and so I'm wondering like you know is it 
all parents are like totally you know obsessed with their kids and like overly protected like or is it like a class you know what like what is it and then I feel like very judgmental towards those types of parents um but who's to say I don't have a child but who's to say in 15 years I won't be the parent like that you know um probably not as hopefully not as horrible as these people but um yeah it's it's interesting like what how, why, why is our society this way? Um, mm -hmm. And as so many people have said, like these parents clearly have so many issues of their own. Um, it's no wonder that that would be like projected onto their kids and their kids would be affected by that, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Josue? I think it's really interesting. Um, you kind of, talking about like that instinct that parental instinct to like you have to have you have to defend your children um i'm reminded of like a, an anecdote by tanahisi coates in between the world and me when he um his little kid gets like shoved on an elevator by by this white woman um that her being white is relevant to the story um and he he like goes in a frenzy but he's like wait i need to like I need to like recognize that I'm a black man and like my reaction, which would be normal in any other context, you know, might be deemed too violent or might be deemed too big. Um, and it's, it's really, really interesting. Uh, and I think going back to the play, um, you know, God of Carnage is the title. And I think my takeaway or my interpretation is that everything that's happening in the play is violence. Um, you know, you have your your child or your your more primal violence by the children, but all of the name calling, all of the you know verbal attacking and harassment, and even like when they go away, then all the rumors start. Um, all of that is violence, and I think it's just the violence that we, as a society, now engage in because we kind of have to. Like we've we've it, our society kind of creates that kind of violence now. Mm -hmm.